Hello there, welcome back to uh, to France. Last time we, uh, well, we released England, and we'll most likely use them as basically our, uh, uh, I guess you could call it our, mm, well, I'm a little bit sure, unsure what to actually call them, but we'll at least be using them with the purpose of, uh, of basically annexing everything else, and or taking what's left of Great Britain to, uh, to England. Yeah, that's what I'm wanted to say but I messed it up but even so we have to deal with Norway they are starting to get a little bit annoying and uh, we also have to get rid of this one I'm pretty sure that Portugal can take it if they just uh, go for it but even so it's so far away that I'm pretty sure that no one else will actually care if I take it myself we should also potentially focus on getting ourselves or ourselves into war with uh, LGS here revolutionary war I have no idea how that would actually work but they're allied with Ottoman and Tripoli I'm pretty sure I have a uh, no, I don't actually have a truce with the Ottomans, so potentially we should do a holy war here. If I can, I don't think I can actually. Yeah, I can actually hold the war, it's just uh, me being uh, all my bad. I think I should potentially build a little bit of a bigger navy. Uh, nope, looks like it's big enough. Uh, just probably add some galleys in there. So we'll be sending these guys back to France and we'll most likely be fighting the Ottomans once again. Try to, uh, I think, take Styria, at least them, take one of these provinces. And then simply build up Styria from it. Uh, that could potentially be a, a good way of doing this. Other than that, I'm a little bit unsure. Uh, create Greece, perhaps. Uh, Albania, we'll have to see. I think I can hand these over to uh, to the Byzantines. But it uh, still remains to be seen. Here we can, of course, hand this over to... Uh, well, I think we can hand it over to Bulgaria. If not, we could potentially hand it over to, to Hungary here. Could potentially also turn these guys into a vassal by a royal marriage of them, alliances and so forth, so uh, we'll have to see how, how that turns out. Apparently we're not that far away, we uh, are 34 points away, no idea if an alliance would actually help for that, but uh, we'll have to see, might be uh, might be a possibility to actually vassalize Hungary, that's kind of weird. Uh, even so, what we can do of course is fight them, take, uh, take a Croatian province and then simply use Croatia as our I'll scapegoat here. So we'll see how this actually turns out. As I say, we can't clear war, take Dalmatia, and then create Croatia, have uh, build Croatia out of their provinces, and then annex it later. But apparently, uh, Croatia ain't really that big. And also, we potentially also should start improving. No, I'm actually already integrating Austria. Wow, I'm really, uh, really not paying too much attention here. And I need to up my diplomatic reputation. I think I have gotten a hit from uh, an event probably yeah it'll last for uh, another year or so and once that's done I think I'm pretty sure or pretty ready to uh, then we can try to go after Hungary so we'll have to see it might actually uh, make an alliance and so forth with them to try and get them uh, get them an next but uh, with that said we'll see how this goes we still have Aragon to, de uh, to deal with and uh, well should be interesting to see how how that goes but for now I'll just uh, well, uh, kind of just sit here plan a little uh, for a little while. It's been a while since I actually booted up this game because I usually uh, record five or six, seven episodes at a go. Uh, mostly because of the fact that uh, I want to keep some sort of consistency in my episodes, but also because uh, it's more fun to play uh, one game for a little bit longer time. But uh, it's at most that I make uh, five, six, seven episodes. Mostly I just make uh, two or three, and that's it, and then go over to another game. Uh, but usually just two, three, and two games a day. So that's basically, unfortunately, how I do stuff. But even so, uh, this does not uh, have anything to do with the game. So with that said, I'll just uh, get back to it and keep on going. I've decided to go for a war against Norway now. Uh, I have no idea how this will actually work out, and or perhaps I shouldn't. Uh, well, I should. I should go ahead and actually uh, forcefully, forcibly convert them to. Uh, back to Catholic, that that way I can potentially just go for a peaceful vassalization. Unfortunately I can't do that with Sweden, they have subjects of their own, in this case in Holstein I think. So I could potentially screw over Sweden and then use that as an advantage. Uh, I could apparently offer vassalization to the Danes, I simply need to get a little bit close to them. And then I can use, uh, basically if I use that to uh, take back a bunch of cores from, from the Swedes and then uh, use that to my advantage more or less but for now we will be declaring war on Norway 
And I think I'll also go ahead and get myself a little bit friendly with uh, someone else. Who well, let's see, how are we doing in terms of... Uh, wow, everything here is actually a vassal. Or part of a union. So that's a little bad, but even so, we should be uh, should be fine. This is a Serbian province. I think I can actually sell it to, uh, to the Bosnians, hopefully. And hopefully I can handle it with the Greek provinces, these guys also. So with that in mind... We'll now be fighting a war against Norwegians. Then we'll most likely go after, go after the uh, the uh, the Ottomans after that again. So with that in mind, we'll simply be declaring war. It should be a very s fairly simple one. I'm pretty sure that uh, Muscovy won't actually be able to reach me. So with that also in mind, we uh, we should be set here for a easy victory. The only real issue here is that this unit doesn't actually have a general. But even so, I think I have military tech. Yeah, we're at the same level of military attack, but with twice the amount of troops, no mercenaries or anything, I should, uh, it will go for this one, I think. Uh, for the Dukas, it's nothing at this stage in anyway, so, uh, that's fine. I'll place my transport ships here and we'll deal with Norway. Hopefully we can uh, convert them. Uh, I believe it depends on country size. Uh, fourth religion is a little bit too high, apparently. So, uh, we'll have to see how that turns out. Also, we can't actually force vassalization on them. So what we will do is most likely take, uh, take some land here and, well, keep it to ourselves. Uh, mostly take these, I think, and p quite possibly that colony, uh, just to make sure that we have at least some sort of, uh, some sort of way to keep and uh, keep tabs on them. Also, the British has established another province or colony here, which is also a little bit annoying. So we'll be declaring one of these guys as soon as the truce goes out. Great Britain is uh, four years away. Then we'll be declaring war. Hopefully, we'll be taking both of these, uh, as well as handing most of the coastal provinces. Uh, these uh, here, I think, over to England as many as possible, and that's the plan for now. We will be fighting Norway and see how see how that turns out. Apparently I underestimated the Muscovy guys, so uh, I think we'll actually just make peace with Norway. I think Sweden will screw them over now. I believe they are war with them as well. So I will be uh, counting on Sweden here to uh, cause them some, some damage. And instead we'll be focusing our efforts on the Ottomans and everyone else here. Hopefully we can turn these guys back to Catholic uh, one way or another. Could potentially go for even rebels, but uh, I'm not really counted on fighting Muscovy as well. So I'll simply go for a white piece, I haven't lost anything, uh, doesn't actually hurt me, apparently that's my troops, but even so, I haven't lost anything, and with that in mind, I'll simply end it here. We do want to fight Great Britain pretty soon, I don't like the fact that they have colonies in uh, where my troops are, or where my colonies are, so to speak, so with that in mind, we'll end this war more or less here, and we'll have the, those guys uh, go home, same with the guys that we left on Iceland, and we'll drop them back here in these uh, in these provinces and then we'll prepare for war against most likely the Ottomans and the uh, and the uh, the British pretty soon too so uh, we'll see how this turns out but for now I'll get my guys back home and uh, ready for war uh, I think I'll actually just go for finishing up the quality ideas here it'll give me a plus 15% discipline and artillery combat ability plus 10% next we'll go for is uh, as you might imagine the uh, the expansion ideas here, additional uh, diplomats will be a very good one. That'll allow me to vassalize, for example, Denmark and a couple of others without uh, suffering for it. So uh, that should potentially be a very good plan. I do have a lot of admin points. I should possibly using some of my money to actually uh, invest in uh, in tech, uh, not in tech, but in uh, stuff. So I actually keep my uh, my admin points in use because as of now they're just uh, sitting there dwindling, uh, not really being used for anything. And with that in mind, we should potentially also uh, get things going. I'm also interested in trying to get an alliance with uh, these guys, coalition against, uh, well, or join the coalition. If I can at least get a royal marriage with these guys once they actually get into trouble, uh, queen apparently. But even so, I don't think they have any trouble. Won't have any trouble for Y six six five. Clear that they have a uh, a. Uh, do we actually have a royal marriage? No. The Royal Majesty with... Hmm. Well, doesn't matter. Poland is uh, 
integration is in nine years time. Should be good enough for that. Polotsk and the Teutons hold a promise each that is a Polish core. We might have to act on that, but uh, at the time being, I'm actually planning something else entirely, and that is having a 20,000 man army march to uh, to India through uh, Ma the Mamluks, Oman, and I'm pretty sure the Ma Ottomans won't actually give me any. Uh, they'll actually give me military access, so I'll drop them off here. We'll be marching through Oman to Baluchistan or Sindh, whatever has the least amount of allies will annex them. Because as far as I know, overseas provinces don't actually count towards your overextension. So I can basically count the entire East, uh, turn them into vassals after I conquer, conquer their countries. And then that way, conquer the East and then meet at the middle. So basically what I will be doing is giving uh, Europe the, uh, the finger, leave it alone for a little while. I will be, as you know, conquering the, uh, the coastal provinces to make sure that no one else goes to New World. Except for those who are already there. We'll be sending them home crying hopefully but uh, yeah that's the plan hopefully these 20,000 men will be able to uh, well make ourselves a little Indian base uh, we'll have to see how that actually turns out It'll, it's an interesting plan to say the least uh, hopefully I can pull it off uh, no idea if anyone actually done this before but probably someone who has uh, this is simply I guess you could call it research for uh, for uh, well trying this in other games as well also It'll be interesting to see if it actually works out. It's uh, kind of a gamble, I guess you could call it. So uh, we'll see how it turns out. Also, as you know, I have one diplomatic relation too much. I'll keep that for the uh, entirety of the journey, I guess I should say. Also, we will, uh, as you know, keep Portugal in our little, uh, uh, as a little coloni colonization nation for now. Uh, no real reason to uh, to take them in. Although it would give me a huge increase in the base taxes, it's no real reason to do so. Also, uh, with the thought of overextension, I can also have to go after the Maya, the Incas, the Shoni, everyone in this area. Uh, conquer them and then use that to my advantage, the fact that they will be uh, overseas and then simply release them as a vassal. I think I can do the same with Mali. Uh, if I'm lucky, so I should potentially start uh, looking into attacking them as well. Swahili, Congo, Benin. Uh, so forth. So we'll be waiting for that uh, plus two diplomatic relations, and then we'll start swallowing up other people as well. But uh, so basically, I'll be a little bit quiet now for the next two three years. I won't be going after the Ottomans just yet. I will be going after Great Britain, though. Take England, take the colonies, and uh, and so forth. But uh, I'll be basically focusing on getting these guys over to India, and then see uh, see what they can do there. We'll also have to do is save up 50 military powers. I can get generals. We can get there faster. But uh, that's what we'll try to do. I guess it's time for another war against Great Britain. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten my ass over to... Uh, well, this kind of sucks, but even so, it means simply that I have to fabricate a new claim. Uh, my bad uh, that I haven't actually done so already, but it'll take a year. In the meantime, we can screw over the uh, um, these guys, I think. Let's see here. Where are someone who's not doing much? I'll start the annexation of Bulgaria. I can hand that one over to Poland. These are basically not something I can hand over to them anyway, so uh, that doesn't really matter. Hungary, we can apparently vassalize them very far down the line. We simply need to get ourselves higher base tax. So taking Austria in will do most of the job for us. And, uh, well, if we take uh, Portugal, it shouldn't be an issue at all. Uh, basically, I think. Apparently, sending these guys simply to a vassal territory didn't help, so I actually have to send them all the way home. But uh, I think we'll get the Portugal guy. Take him and get him home. I'm also currently in the business of trying to get uh, Pomerania here in my group of vassals. Uh, seems like I'll get just about enough. Uh, if not, we'll have to uh, to bribe them through, possibly offer them military access and so forth. But there are some little proclaim guarantees and so forth that you can get a little extra you need to get them vassalized. But for the time being, we will most likely go off to Great Britain. We will take a couple more years before we can get to Baluchistan, Sindh, and so forth, to Persia. Since because of the fact that, well, I have no idea when I did this, but I'll probably have to check back on uh, some other videos. Uh, I'm not tempted to send a fleet. I can't actually get basing rights with anyone here, so uh, the fleet will simply sink, which is not a good thing. And other than that, uh, we want to wait for the Ottomans just in case I get uh, they actually decide to march down here and kill off this army which I would very much hate. With that in mind, we will do, we will, however, go for a quick little war now against the, uh, 
them. Where the hell are my troops there? Against the uh, the Burgundy guys. Uh, they've been a little bit of torn in my side in the middle of my land, so I'll simply vassalize them and take them out that way. So with that in mind, we'll go for full maintenance. Uh, we're not losing that much money, really. But even so, it's a little bit annoying. And also, it's a little bit annoying that other people think they can have my Cardinals. So there we go. We have lost two. We have. Uh, we'll most likely get the next one, though. And we'll most likely now screw over Burgundy. So once that's done, I'll get back to you. They are actually allied with Salzburg and Venice, and it's actually quite tempting to simply go for vassalization of both. Might actually go for simply an annexation of Venice, but uh, we'll have to see. Uh, vassalizing Salzburg and Venice both will give me uh, some better ground here, and slowly but surely it'll allow me to shrink the territory that the Holy Roman Empire holds, and thus uh, slowly but surely bring them to, uh, to their doom. So we'll do that, declare war on uh, Burgundy, simply take them out, they have been out of ground for far too long. Uh, the fact that I attacked them to begin with, basically to uh, to make sure that they wouldn't get the, uh, the uh, or that Austria wouldn't inherit the lands, is kind of funny when you think about it. That was the original point behind attacking them, and then it simply ended up with, uh, well, uh, everything else. So with that in mind, we'll be hunting down the... Uh, their armies here, and hopefully my guys can actually go ahead and siege the, uh, no. As you can see, they have 18,000 men here, 12,000 men here, but they won't actually go and siege the, uh, the enemy's lands. So they'll actually go to my stacks rather than actually do, taking the initiative on their own and getting ready to uh, to do some do some work here. So instead, they'll cause me attrition. So what? I should, most people will simply say then that I should use mercenaries. But as you can see, they actually follow my main stack. So what I will do then is simply this, because well, it's the only way to actually make them do what I want. And also, they aren't actually sieging anything without me standing in the very promise I want them to siege. And also, uh, they are causing themselves some loads of extra attrition uh, by their own here, as you can see. No real reason for them to stack their armies like that. So um, yeah, still some tweaks to be uh, sorted out, I think. But even so, we should be fine. So I'll wait, or I fight this arm. Army war, then I'll get back to you. I think we are almost soon. Yeah, we're almost ready to to declare war on uh, on Great Britain to try and take well the remainder of what should be England. Colony damaged. What the hell? Yeah, bastards. It actually changed to American culture, which I actually forgot to show you. But it's still pretty pretty sweet that they can they can do that. I dare say. So uh, we'll see how that turns out, if we actually get an American uh, Greenland or not, it would be hilarious, but uh, uh, I, won't, I won't think about that. We'll get ready to fight Great Britain, and apparently we'll be doing some more conversions as well. So yeah, Great Britain, here we come. They actually have 30,000 men, that is spooky. Uh, yeah, I can't actually march to their land, which is uh, not a surprise. We'll be sending our fleet up there though, this one, to uh, try and cause them some cost their fleet some issues and hopefully it will pay off so I'll simply declare war now on Great Britain I'll show you the big battle if there is one and we'll see how uh, how it all turns out apparently they do have some allies in Switzerland Minster Denmark uh, Friesland so potentially I'll actually go ahead and uh, go for the vassalization of Friesland uh, Switzerland might even go for uh, Minster 2 basically try to take as many uh, vassals as I can here it could potentially screw me over in terms of having too many vassals is probably not a good idea but even so I have uh, two diplomatic relations here or three that will soon be disappearing so taking as many vassals as I can especially taking electors as vassals is probably the wise thing to do here so we'll be declaring as I said war on Great Britain and I'll apparently be uh, the last thing I'll be doing this uh, this session I think simply because of the fact that uh, we have run out of time and also because uh, well we will be fighting their troops sooner, very soon. But uh, as I said, this will be the end of this session. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like. And hopefully, I'll see everyone next time. And next time, we'll hopefully be uh, be going to India, starting to cause some trouble there and around China. So uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.